Joe Gibbs unofficially announced their newest driver in Xfinity. Kyle Busch is racing overseas, and Ryan Blaney, he's also going to be looking for a new spotter. Let's talk about it. Coming up next. They actually already have his new spotter. I said that wrong. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, let's jump into it. This via Josh Williams. Last week's NASCAR banquet was my last call as spotter for the 12 team and, Pen and Team Penske. After nine years, it was time to personally and professionally make a change for myself and my family. I'm forever grateful to everyone I've gotten to work with at Team Penske, especially those that have become lifelong friends. I'm proud knowing the last six races were it and going out with a Talladega win, a Martinsville clock, and capping it off with a Cup Series championship. We couldn't have finished it off any better. Anyway, that begs the question of who is going to be Ryan Blaney's spotter. And this via Bob Progress, it's going to be Timmy Fidoa, Kevin Harvick's spotter, will spot for Ryan Blaney in 2024. The team has confirmed Blaney, former spotter Josh Williams' plans haven't been confirmed, but he spotted for Zane Smith this year in trucks, so that would be a likely landing spot for him over at Spire. So there you go. It's going to be Tim Fidoa, and we'll have to see where Josh Williams ends up spotting. This via Jayski, Kyle Busch possibly competing in 2024 Adelaide 500 Supercars race. Richard Childress Racing and Erebus Motorsports are working toward fielding NASCAR superstar Kyle Busch as a wild card in the 2024 Adelaide 500. Childress, the 78-year-old NASCAR Hall of Famer, attended last weekend's Supercar season finale as a guest of Erebus as part of the growing tie-up between the two teams. Much public attention was focused on Childress' interest in running Erebus' newly crowned Supercars champion Brody Kostecki in the NASCAR races following a maiden foray in August. This via V8 Sleuth is where Jayski got his info. So we've already talked about Brody. He's probably going to run five or six races next season for RCR, so that part is covered. But we didn't know the other side of the deal, the other side of why Richard Childress was over there, and now we do. It looks like they're trying to work Kyle Busch over there to race in the V8 Supercar Series. That's going to be super awesome. If any of my friends in Australia want to get up with me, and if they make a die cast of Kyle Busch in that, uh, in that race, i kind of going to need to have that one. I don't know. All right, moving right along. This via Bob Pockers, former Chevy Hendrick and Ganassi executive Doug Dutchart has been named as president of Spire Motorsports. So there you go. The most interesting team in NASCAR continues to be just that interesting. We'll have to see what comes of that. But he has a high pedigree being a uh, basically a uh, head office guy for all of those companies. So we'll see where he leads the team going forward as president. This via Legacy Motor Club 2024 will mark a major milestone in the sport. 75 years of the Petty family in NASCAR. And that is a sweet logo. Hopefully we get some sweet gear from that logo. Richard Petty and Kyle Petty have both also tweeted this out. So going to be a big year. Uh, 75th year of the Petty's race. And I hope to see some really cool paint schemes and stuff like that on Eric Jones's car. And also probably the 42 because the 42 also one of those Legacy slash Petty numbers. So it'll be cool to see what they do with it this season going forward. Also via Bob Pockris, NASCAR announces its race at Iowa Speedway is sold out for grandstands and camping. My sources say grandstands capacity is approximately 24K. There are no plans to add any additional temporary grandstands there, nor at Daytona or Daytona 500. Uh, race name for Iowa will be Iowa Corn Tree Fitty. Hey, so you saw right there, you might not have been able to make out the audio, but when Coach Gibbs pointed at Eric Amarola, he said, that's Eric, he's driving for us now. So uh, that is basically just a bombshell. Not a lot of people were thinking Eric Amarola was going to JGR, but looks like he's going to be along Sheldon Creed, at least on a part-time basis. Uh, and he will also return to the 20 car. Funny story about that, obviously, if you don't remember, uh, his first uh, Bush Series win or uh, Xfinity Series win was when uh, he, he started the race and then Denny Hamlin got there late. Denny Hamlin came in because Denny Hamlin was supposed to be the driver there. He subbed in for Eric Almarola and ends up winning the race, but because Eric Almarola started the race, uh, he was officially the winner. Eric Almarola didn't like that a whole lot, and he basically hasn't had anything to do with Joe Gibbs Racing since, so it makes it a really cool story that it sort of bookends. He's back at JGR. He will probably drive that number 20, so it's come full circle. It looks like they have finally uh, made up, so uh, interesting tidbit to that story there.
Uh, and also to go right along with that story, JGR hopes to announce its full Xfinity lineup plans in a week or so. So expect Eric Amarola should be part of those plans uh, as he shows up with Joe Gibbs at the Commanders game today. And uh, Gibbs tells Josh Harris, Commanders owner and investor at JGR, that Eric Amarola is driving for JGR now. And the guy that broke the story, I think, was just an NFL fan, uh, a Washington Commanders fan. J.P. Finley, he's the one that actually broke that video. Uh, Gibbs at the game, maybe he can call the defense. So I think he was more interested in the game going on on the field, but he caught some audio, and it, it turned the NASCAR world up on its head. So there you go. Uh, pretty crazy story there. All right, that's all I got for you on this one. If it's your first time to the channel, would love to have your subscription. If not, I'll keep making them until I earn it. Uh, if you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you guys as well. If you've got a question, comment, or anything like that, I try to get to as many of them as I can. So leave it down in the comment section. If you want to visit the merch store, we got buy one, get one on shirts like this right here. So you can buy one, get one. We have several offerings, so check them out. Uh, and other than that, thanks for your time. Peace. The link is in the description. I forgot to say that for the for the... Cam Newton. <laughs>